The Ministry of Health has cancelled all previous circulars issued in relation to the handling of COVID dead and the disposal of remains. The statement explains that the decision was taken after considering the evolving knowledge, clinical practices and management protocols of the COVID-19 virus. Accordingly, from now on, no post-mortem PCR tests will be carried out and the disposal of remains can now be done according to pre-pandemic procedures. The circular has also lifted all restrictions on where remains can be buried. This means that there will no longer be designated burial sites for COVID dead. This is especially good news in relation to burial of COVID dead according to Islamic customs and now allows burials at any cemetery or burial ground. Since the lifting of the ban on COVID burials early last year, they were only limited to a specially designated area in Uddamavadi Batiklo that was heavily criticized by civil society members. The decision is a timely one, with Sri Lanka's human rights sessions under the spotlight at the United Nations Human Rights Commission sessions currently underway in Geneva. The circular, however, adds that remains should be disposed of within 24 hours of handover by hospital authorities and prohibits transportation of the remains to any other place other than the burial site. This means that remains cannot be placed at family homes or funeral parlours for public display or even embalmed. According to the new procedure, the COVID-19 remains will be placed in a leak-proof bag and placed in a coffin that is to be provided by the family. Further, the circular designates COVID deaths that occur seven days after a PCR or antigen test as normal deaths and will be handed over to relatives.